Welcome to the Control-M Automation API reporting video. In this video, you will learn how to generate a report with Automation API. You should use Automation API to automate your reports. In the Reporting tool, you can define reports and generate them. However, sometimes you need to generate these reports from the CLI, or you want to automate this report generation. Automation API supports the generation of predefined reports. Let's see how we do that. I have a report called All Alerts Last Week that lists all of the critical alerts on my environment in the last seven days. A preview of the report from Control-M Reports is shown here. Now I want to generate my All Alerts Last Week report using Automation API CLI. I open my CLI by clicking Start, and then I type CMD. In my CLI, I run the following command to generate my report. The CLI returns to me the following. The report ID enables me to check the status of my report, whether it is processing or done, and download it after it is done. To check the status of my report, I can run the status command with the report ID. The CLI returns to me the following. I see that the report succeeded. When I copy the web URL to my browser, the CSV file downloads. Now, let's say that I want to generate my All Alerts Last Week report, but instead of showing the critical alerts, I want it to show me the urgent alerts. That means I have to change the filtering from critical to urgent alerts. To do so, I can generate the report from the CLI with a configuration file, which overrides the filters saved in the report. First, I export the filters from my report. I click the three dots here and select Export Filters. The configuration file downloads. I open the file, called allalertslastweek.json. The file includes instructions about how to run the configuration file. These must be removed before running the file. I delete the text, and then I change critical to urgent. Then I save the file in the directory where the CLI will read it. For my convenience, I'm renaming the file to differentiate between the report name and the name of the configuration file. In the CLI, I run the following command. The CLI returns to me the following. Now I'll check the status. I open the web URL link and can now view the report, which shows only urgent alerts. This concludes our Control-M Automation API reporting video. In this video, we learned how to generate a report from the Control-M Automation API, and also to use a configuration file to change the report's filters. For more use cases and usage information, refer to the documentation. Thank you for watching this video.